Hey guys, Dr. Devin Coglin here with Dr. Dan Roses, and we're here with Revolution Chiropractic in Marlton, New Jersey. A um, couple things, we want to make a couple announcements to, to start with. Number one, just letting you know, obviously we're seeing a rise in uh, positive cases of coronavirus here in New Jersey. And number one, we just want to let you know that we are essential and we are going to be open just like we were in the spring, March, April, when things were really at its peak. We're seeing an increase now. Uh, certainly, and we want to make sure that you know we're going to be open. Uh, we are considered essential by the governor, and really our main goal is to help people with their health before it becomes a hospital situation or something like that. So really chiropractors are going to be super, super crucial to reducing the burden on the healthcare system uh, when it comes to hospitals and things like that. Um, so that's number one. Number two, we're certainly following all the same guidelines we have been all along, uh, all the recommended guidelines. And then really we've taken it a step further and we've actually purchased state-of-the-art air filtration system as well. So we have HEPA air filters that are hospital grade that are not only circulating and removing viruses and bacteria from the air and it's killing 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria, it's actually doing it every 18 to 20 minutes in our office. So the size of our office and the efficiency of the air filtration unit every 18 to 20 minutes we're getting completely fresh air in our office that's killing off all viruses and bacteria all right so again we're doing all the steps we can to make sure this is a safe environment that you can take care of your, your health um, and you can feel safe when you're here that's number one that we want to share with you number two we want to give you some tips to be proactive right so we're not just sitting around waiting for the virus to come and get us or, or something along those lines so Dr. Dan, share with us a couple tips. Um, I'm also going to share some as far as things we can do on a proactive basis to make ourselves stronger and our immune system stronger. Absolutely. Now the first, it's the easiest and most basic thing, exercise daily. And I'm not talking go to the gym for two hours, pump iron, go crazy. If you can do that, go right ahead. That's awesome. But for most people, a walk around the block, 20 minutes, just get your legs moving, get the blood flowing. That's really good for your health and for your immune system. Next is eating right. Now, I personally know this might be more difficult than other things, sure. but it's super important when it comes to all the organs of the immune system, and we want to get that natural energy source into our body so those organs can do what they're supposed to do. And, and to that point, just on a side note, mm -hmm. being the holidays, right, Thanksgiving and, and Christmas, we always joke around, this is the time of year that people tend to challenge their liver the most. Absolutely. Right? You might have a few more alcoholic beverages uh, than you normally would, more sugar than you normally would. So, you know, keeping in mind that alcohol and sugar, uh, from like a nutrition standpoint, are going to lower your immune system and it's going to take away from your body's ability to fight off any virus, whether it be a common cold mm -hmm. or a flu. Yeah. Now, after the holiday season, when you do go to the supermarket, it's super easy to figure out what you should get. I'm not going to get too in-depth about details, but anything natural, organic, is definitely the way to go when it comes to that. Um, next is just drinking water. I know when you open up the fridge and you see Diet Coke, it's sometimes easier to go to that, but just we need to replenish our body with tons of water throughout the day to make sure that we're staying hydrated, and what studies show is we should be drinking half of our body weight in ounces per day. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then really um, some other things I wanted to add to that. One of the biggest things in, in, along with exercise, if you can exercise outside and get natural sunlight on your body, that's one of the most important things you can do. So most people know this, not everyone, but most people know that when you're in the sun, the sun hits your skin, it stimulates vitamin D production in your body. Vitamin D is one of the most essential nutrients that your body can have for a healthy immune system. All right, so again, in addition to exercising, ideally do some of it outside, whether you're hiking, biking, going for a walk. I understand it's cold in the Northeast where we are, but, but the reality is if you can be outside with sun on your skin, that's going to increase your immune system uh, strength and, and how effective it is. Um, next point we want to give you is sleep. Most Americans, and, and again, you can look this up across the board. Most scientists are in agreement. Um, there's a great book called Why We Sleep by Dr. Matthew Walker, where he literally goes into, if you literally lose one hour of sleep, it can affect your body in numerous ways. So I want to encourage you to get at least seven hours of sleep. Really, you'd be shooting for eight to nine. 
and your body heals, repairs, your immune system gets stronger when you're getting proper sleep. Um, anyone that's had a newborn or has gone through a stretch of time where you've missed a lot of sleep, you realize you're not at your best, your immune system's not at its best, and you're really compromising yourself to getting sick. Um, and then really, the other thing I want to add on to the sunlight, exercise, fresh air. You've heard before as well that indoor air quality is very poor. You want to be outside getting fresh air as much as possible. You'll notice people that work outside in the wintertime actually are going to be sick less than people that are inside breathing in recycled, nasty air. You want to make sure that you're getting oxygenated, fresh air as much as possible um, for your immune system as well. Last thing I want to close on, it's very, very simple. It's your thoughts. It's your mental state. If you're scared and you're worried, you're going to raise your stress levels, which is then again in turn going to have an inverse relationship on your immune system. So you want to make sure that, number one, you're thinking positive thoughts. Number two, you're avoiding things that are going to stress you out. Most people watch the news, mainstream media, and it stresses them out, which again is going to lower your immune system. If you just turn off the news, your stress level will go down markedly. All right? The next thing I want to just touch on is think about this for a second. Most people are, are really worried right now. They're canceling their holiday plans because of coronavirus. Keep in mind the the first reports of this virus were about a year ago in America. So in America, we were looking like first reports around November, December 2019. Here we are, November, Thanksgiving 2020, and we're still talking about this virus. So think about this for a second. Odds are you've already come in contact with this virus. And if you haven't actually been sick from it, that means your immune system dealt with it and it fought it off. Okay, so you might not even have antibodies for this virus. But keep in mind, your immune system more than likely fought this off once. It can do it again. So really, I would encourage you to not have the belief that you're just like a sitting duck waiting to get attacked by this virus. Take these steps like we talked about. Make your body stronger, sleep, exercise, eat well. We didn't even touch on this, but this kind of goes without saying too, it's really been in the news quite a bit. Take vitamin C, take vitamin D, zinc. There's a number of vitamins and minerals that you can utilize to help strengthen your immune system as well. So again, we don't wanna make this video too long. Make sure you're being proactive, taking these steps, yep. and do everything within your control to help your body be strong and be able to fight this virus instead of just waiting for, for something to happen to you, all right? So again, uh, Dr. Dan Roses, Dr. Devin Coglin here at Revolution Chiropractic. It's our pleasure to serve you, and we hope you have a great holiday season. We want you to enjoy it to the fullest, and, and just make sure you're being proactive with your health.